Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Jen Joy Plans. Today I am using this kit that was actually printable from Planner Pixie Co, but her kits are also available in just like her regular shop where she can print and ship to you. So if you're not a printable kit user, you can still find this kit in her shop. Um, and this was my first time, I think, printing no, I did a monthly kit with her. Anyways, um, first weekly kit. And at first when I laid this kit down, I was maybe like a touch disappointed if I was, if I'm going to be completely transparent because I feel like the colors weren't as vibrant. But now looking back, I think um, it's not necessarily the colors being vibrant. I think it's the glitter headers have a little bit more like white to them and like a pale tone. I don't know. And not really pale. I shouldn't say pale. I don't know. Just not as saturated. Um, and then with the date covers being white based and then white is in a lot of the full boxes with the snow, which makes sense. I think for some reason that was all throwing me off. So long story long, it's not the print quality. It's not the saturation or anything like that because once the full boxes were down and like even that bottom washi you see the saturation um so yeah it ended up turning out really cute i love the color blocking love the colors of this kit and this kit could not have been more perfect because we got our first snow this week and this kit is very snow themed um christmas and since it was the first full week of december i feel like it was a good um well, I guess it's not the first full week. It's just the first couple days of December. It was a good like launch into the holiday spirit. And I feel like more decorations, like I was doing more decorating this week and other people were too. So yeah, it's all exciting stuff. And having the more traditional Christmas colors was just a good reminder. So this kit, um, or this week, I mean, like I said, is in, is the in-between of November, December. And I marked that in the sidebar with those little scripts from McPlans and um I already talked about how we are we had snow this week um it came on Tuesday and it dumped snow all day long at school and it was terrible um I mean it was really fun but the kids like if you're a teacher or if you have kids you know that there is something that makes kids like something in snow that makes kids just like bonkers and I understand it's exciting it the joy of it especially the first snow there's nothing better and it was like really good snow like the good flakes and like pretty snow but yeah the kids were off the wall and then we ended up having no school on Wednesday and then a two-hour delay on Thursday and I'm doing this voiceover Thursday night so who knows about tomorrow but I think tomorrow will be fine maybe a two-hour delay but yeah it's just what a week <laughs> but not gonna lie it was kind of nice to have a snow day because I needed a break <laughs> and I don't like too many of them because then it goes into your summer but once in a while they are kind of nice so this week um I decided to um instead of going over too many of the stickers because it's kind of the same thing that I always use I decided to do a quick little this or that and I did pair this with silver foil that those bougie boxes are from um Caress Press Roll and then the date dots are from McPlans I love them I love how bold they are and they're in my favorite font one Okay, let's do some holiday this or that. Okay, the first one is eggnog or hot cocoa, and definitely hot cocoa. I this maybe is like an um bias opinion or unpopular opinion. That's the word I'm thinking of, but I cannot stand eggnog. Um, yeah, I thought I liked eggnog because my mom used to make an eggnog, but turns out that was just like sugar milk, and <laughs> not eggnog. Because when I tried. Uh, eggnog in college I was like oh yeah I love eggnog thinking you know I love my mom's eggnog and I tried it and I quite literally spit it out so um not a fan it's an acquired taste but not for me hot cocoa 100% all the way 
Next is a fake or real tree, and this might also be an unpopular opinion, but fake tree, I actually was really allergic to real trees when I was little. So um, basically, I've always grown up with a fake tree, and then now that I'm on my own, just do a fake tree. I am thankful that my husband also has grown up with a fake tree, so he's not like insisting, but... Um, yeah, I don't like have an allergic reaction if I go to somebody else's house and maybe I grew out of it, but I don't really have the desire to do it in my own house and I kind of just like storing it and having the fullness of a fake tree, but I know that it's really special for some people and I would understand if that was like a tradition, wanting to keep that alive, but yeah, fake tree. Um, and then the next question is, gingerbread or sugar cookie and sugar cookie 100% as well which maybe these are all controversial (laughs) and it's funny because I'm using a gingerbread kit here like there's some gingerbread elements here but um I just am not a fan and I honestly now that I'm gluten-free I couldn't tell you if I I don't think I've had a gluten-free gingerbread cookie actually no that's a lie Trader Joe's makes one but again sugar cookie all the way Next up is traditional candy cane or um, it says like fruit candy cane is the question, but I'm guessing it means just like the other, like the candy flavored ones. And I personally hate candy canes. Um, I'm just not a peppermint fan in general. Really mint in general is just like not my top choice. And, um, but peppermint especially is just for some reason really gross to me. And candy canes are really gross to me. Maybe because I see like so many kids eat them and they just like are all over their face and just looks gross. But, um, yeah, candy canes are not my thing. But my mom in the past has bought like sweet tart candy canes or like Starburst candy canes. And those are good. I've tried those. Um, but those are like maybe the only ones that I would eat. I don't, I don't like the regular ones. So if you're like me, try those, try the like sweet tart one, or I forget what I've, what, what, which one it was. But when I was shopping at the grocery store the other day, I saw they made a Funfetti one. And that to me sounds personally gross, but maybe it's good. If you know how it tastes, let me know down below. Or what? A, what's your candy cane preference? Let me know down below. Let me know down below. Actually, you should let me know any of the answers to any of these questions because I'm always curious. But moving on to the next one, angel topper or star topper on your tree. And I've always been a star topper kind of person um, and growing up with that. But yeah, I think it's kind of whatever you grow up with. And then the next question is traditional colored lights or multicolored lights and again I've always grown up with the traditional just like white lights on your house so that is what I have done as well um I'm really excited because my husband just put up our Christmas lights on the outside as well so it looks so good but yeah I've always just kept it kept it simple with my Christmas lights so just doing the regular maybe boring white ones The next one is green Christmas tree or white Christmas tree. And I honestly have never seen anybody with a white Christmas tree before. I remember it was like a thing when to like, what's the word? Flock, flock a Christmas tree. This wasn't like my, I don't know. It was like my grand or my parents used to do it to their parents' Christmas tree where you like almost spray paint like fake snow on a tree. Um, So I remember my grandparents having flocked trees, but it was never white, white. It just kind of had that like artificial snow. (laughs) If you know what I'm talking about, let me know down below. But yeah, that I've never seen a white tree before. So green Christmas tree. Next question is white Christmas or tropical Christmas. And this one's really tricky. I really want to say tropical because maybe because we've had snow this week and I'm kind of over it, but I'm just a warmer weather kind of person. There's something kind of magical about like a white Christmas, but the like reality of driving in the snow on Christmas day is just not ideal. Um, So tropical Christmas, but... We, my husband and I, we actually got married on December 22nd. This is such a side tangent, but, um, so we did our 
honeymoon over Christmas and it felt really weird to not be home for Christmas and to be in Hawaii so like somewhere tropical for Christmas um but it was really fun to also see like how warm places like celebrate Christmas because we are from the Pacific Northwest so we're used to if it's not a white Christmas it's at least like a very you know forest green tree filled type Christmas um and it was very opposite so I personally didn't mind it but I know that maybe some people would envy where we live and like that we get snow for a lot of our Christmases but right now the warm weather sounds real nice especially for Christmas and for a break but we want what we don't have right that just is a common theme um and then the last question is Mar- uh, Mariah Carey or Michael Bublé, and uh, that that's hard. I don't feel like I have a strong favorite, but maybe Michael Bublé? I don't know. So that's it. Sadie just made a little appearance there. She was being real nosy when I was putting this down, but hopefully you enjoyed those questions. Let me know your uh, like answers for any of those, and then let me just quickly run through the week. Like I said, school, I marked it with Carly Plans backpacks and the script from McPlans. And then I added in some McPlans little doodles with the little pig in the stocking on Monday and then the little pig in the candy cane on Wednesday, although that didn't end up happening since we had no school day. And then I'm just adding some washi overlay from the Crest Press tape rolls. And that's pretty much it for my pre-planning. All right, here is my finished spot. Bread. I just added this mini little extension, which I love from the Planner Pixie Co. format. And um, this kit was really fun. It's really cute. Does have a lot of white, um, but I feel like it ended up working out. And I just absolutely love that it had the traditional colors. So then I could use a lot more of the um, like holiday character stickers that I have because I just. Well, this week I just started this and so sneak peek and I'm able to use some of them. Um, but the week after I'm struggling a little bit more with character stickers. So that is the one advantage of having some more kits with traditional Christmas colors. And I think I said that in my plan with me, but, or maybe I'll talk about it for next week's plan with me because that was a change of plans. Anyways, long story long, this is my week. Um, we got our first dumping of snow it is still here like a week and a half later and yeah it's um it's been good we got one full snow day and then a two-hour delay and then yeah so that was really fun feel like I was gonna say something else but it just made the kids really wild which made look at two times I didn't say kids were wild and I love this little sticker from McPlain's in the Christmas lights because it's perfect for marking like here Xmas lights but like just marking stress level because or like in a couple weeks I use it to mark meetings because it just feels like suits my emotion um this week my husband and I started watching the Pepsi documentary on Netflix let me know if you've seen that and we had makeup Thanksgiving with my aunt and uncle and my cousins gotta see my cousin's kid who's super cute and watched lots of Christmas movies. But yeah, overall, this was the week and um, this is the final spread. So happy December, everybody, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, everyone.